Okay, so for me, it's been basically 24 hours since I've done this part here. And <clears throat> now I'm ready to move on. But yes, I did notice <laughs> after the fact how wonky this side turned out. But now that it's been 24 hours, it's going to be a little bit difficult to fix. Um, I can try to kind of elongate these circles here and just to kind of fill in the bit of a gap so it doesn't quite look as distant. And I may try that at some point, um, but I'm a little afraid that the more I mess with it, the worse it's going to be. <laughs> and so what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it as is right now. And then let's take another look at it once everything is complete. Because as weird as it looks right now, you may be really surprised when it's completed how much it fades into the overall image and you may not even see it. And if I decide at that point, um, maybe taking a step away and relooking at it, if I decide that, that really needs to be fixed, then that's how I'm going to do that. Essentially what I'll do is I think these were fours. I'll essentially take a five and go over it to make the dot larger um, and just offset it a little bit and make it a little bit, a little bit oblong. Um, I can take a tool just like this and smooth the dots around. But again, I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I'm just going to see kind of where things go. All right, so let's move on. I'm going to go in with a six on this one and I'm going to get some dots laid out for another row of walked dots here. I don't know exactly how far apart I want them yet. So I'm just going to kind of space them out real openly um, and then kind of see what it looks like. So, all right, let me get this a little closer in here. Get my six. And then I think with these dots, I think I'm going to do these dots in the gray. For sure, I'm going to put one here. So I'm going to match that up. So now those are all nicely spaced. And let's go with a 1.5. And I'm gonna do just the light gray for the tops here. All right, and we're gonna be using a one to go around.
Now on this side, I have slightly more room than this one. And I'm thinking I probably have enough room to get another dot here. So I'm going to take this six and I'm going to put it right up against the edge here. We'll go down one side and then I'm only going to make the first dot there and then it goes right off. Okay. Now for this side, it's a little closer. I'm going to get a Q-tip handy. And let's see if I can see the edge here clear enough. flatten it down and then I'm gonna walk right along this edge here now I just need to get rid of this little tiny tip that was created when I pulled it up I don't have to be too precise because it's gonna be covered up anyways all right 1.5 at the top And then we'll just do a one down the side. There. Okay. And then what I want to do is just fill in the little bit of space. So let's take a look here. I'm going to play around with some tool sizes. That's a three. I can probably go three and a half. All right, let's get the wisteria in here and see what this looks like. Okay, now I'm going to take the three. As you see, I was kind of just measuring here a little bit. And then I'm going to go into this kind of magenta mix and I should be able to fit two dots here and a crown. So now I've done that and these edges here have run right into the circles. Uh, let me grab my pencil and I want to remark the center of this one here, which I think, let's see if I can see my mark anymore, might be able to feel it. Now those I did kind of randomly, but there really isn't a whole lot of room. Um, so they're gonna be pretty well equal. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that these are actually going to be the same pattern. I think just so that I don't have to redraw any lines or worry about anything matching up, I think I'm gonna go for the flower. Um, let's make sure that I've got Let's see what size do I want this to be. I'm thinking probably a five. Yeah. Okay. So again, I want to go with the dark to the light outer. Okay. So we'll end out here at the edge in the green. Um, but I'm going to start with the dark and I'm going to do these together. I'm going to do these simultaneously. to make sure now that I decided that that they are give or take about the same here yeah okay
going to go down a size to a four and into the light gray here. Point five for the walk and I'm just gonna go up to the light purple here the wisteria and I'm gonna go down to a 0 0.5 for the walks on these ones I want these ones to be nice and small Now I'm going to go into a four. We're going to change the pattern up just a little if you've seen this before. Uh, now let's go to the four. Okay. And I'm going to add in dot about there. And then we're going to make that into a little fat swooshy here. Since those are done, um, I do want to bring a little bit of green into this. Just make sure I have enough room everywhere. I'm going to go to a two. I'm going to put some walk dots actually on top of these swooshes. to a three and we're going to make a crown in here.
you know, I've just added the top dots to the center here, and I'm gonna do the same with these. Now for this one, I'm going to kind of fake a dot. Now I've got the space to fill in here. Um, and actually, the line I've gotten a little rubbed off just because of my hand coming over here. Uh, so let's see. Let me darken that just a little. Just so I can kind of see where the edge was there. Doesn't have to be too exact. Just again, want to make sure that I don't lose sight of that at all. So the next thing I want to do is just get a couple of dots in here. Now these don't have to be as precise. And I'm going to take a one. And we're going to get some small dots around these. Now for a little bit of more randomness um, as I start to fill some of these spaces in. So I'm going to start out here with a four. Let's do a couple of swooshes. Some of these elements I'm going to go ahead and more or less replicate, um, but they're not going to be exactly the same. going to use the swooshes and the dots to create the border and you'll see what I mean as this progresses. <laughs> 